Charlie Craig and race no time. He dives to the right side of Kennedy. It is going to prove their fifth. Charlie Craig and now up to the fifth place position. Speedway has been a big part of local racing since it opened in 1972. Today, we find ourselves at another abandoned NASCAR racetrack. This one does have grand stands left behind. We have some wooden ones on this side and metal ones on that side. The history of this place is pretty cool. It was opened originally in 1972 as a half mile track. It was originally all dirt and that lasted up until 1989 when they finally put a paved layer above all the dirt and then from then it got picked up by NASCAR and it was open as a NASCAR track until 2016 and now nothing just sits here abandoned and uh, we're gonna check it out hopefully you guys enjoy if you do leave a thumbs up let's go check it out so where we're starting today's video is up in the suites I guess I don't know but this overlooked the entire track So this is definitely where you do get your refreshments and your food at while here enjoying the races. As well as the checkered flag cafe. is one thing I love about these empty sports venue. It's just how nature takes it right back. I love, love, love all the vegetation coming out of these, out of these bleachers. Even got berries growing right here. Heading right onto the track. So not that much to see here, but we do have some nicely decaying old ads in that direction, and we have a giant motordrome speedway sign. 
discover the wolf. And here's the scoreboard. Got one advertisement that fell over just over time. We have a couple more to look at. k and it's a popular brand. Before we head up there, which I don't even know if we can get over there right now because there's no breaks in the fence. We have to go like all the way around and walk around. But um, before we do head up there, cause we will, we're gonna check out a couple houses, different little buildings here in the center of the track. Previously in a different NASCAR track that I did, there was an infirmary there. That was one of the coolest things there because it was basically like an in-house hospital here at the, at the racetrack. on this uh, this board here get a pretty good look of everything and I bet right over here is where the pit crew was come over here get your get your nuts tightened and your bolts screwed then you go right back on the track So this wasn't a pit stop or pit crew stop. It's another, well, it actually is a pit stop. I wasn't wrong about that, but it's the pit stop cafe. And the door window is open. So let's see you inside. See if it smells like any old food or something. I'm getting a whiff of something, but I think it's mold. Looks like we got a hot dog warmer. That's still left behind. Um, this is a, not sure, but we can see what they had here. Hot dogs, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, all the normal stuff you would have in an event. Decent prices too. Got some sort of car in here. That's pretty cool. This is actually like a workshop. You have NASCAR stickers. Bunch of them. Do have some sort of vehicle here. Not quite sure what this would be used for. Almost looks like a Zamboni. But obviously that's for ice.
best seat in the house. I'm standing where the finish line is. So you have you would have the flag waver up here. Pretty cool. This must be a pretty cool job being this guy. I guess this would control maybe the lights so the drivers know when to go, when to stop. Before we head up there, we're gonna check out the refreshments over here at Victory Lane. Oh, it's really cool over here. I like how overgrown it is. This is really cool. You see all the picnic tables just overgrown. You got so much stuff just out here destroyed with these old registers. Got a plaque. 1998 NASCAR Winston Racing Series Achievement Award for Best Track Motodrome Speedway. Look at this! This plaque! For this raceway just sitting out here in the rain. That's so that's insane, honestly. Nobody cares about this place anymore. It's honestly kind of sad. The finish line draft shack. So this is probably the bar here. Look how overgrown all these stands are. It's pretty wild. I mean, we, we literally have trees growing in the stands. Let's head into this building attached to the pavilion. See what's left behind. Oh, nice. So this is like one of the places you would walk into actually and get the food. You see some of the prices, Miller Lite, 16 ounce,
Here's an old picture of the front gate. Oh my god, it smells disgusting in here. I think someone just tossed like barbecue sauce all over the walls. Honestly, it doesn't smell that bad. <laughs> what is it? It's a sauce. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out which one is it. Uh, I could have Taco Bell. Even have some video left behind on VHS tapes. Goodies Dash Series B Roll Advancer Package 2002. Wow. Got so much information in here from. All 90s races, the 1995 awards banquet, all different stuff here. Got a bunch of wristbands, participant permit. These are the wristbands they would give the actual drivers. So much left here, I didn't honestly expect it. Gotta love the checkered floors. Oh, this is cool. It's a plaque and it's a clock. Oh, sweet. Old Gatorade stickers? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And the Motor Drum Speedway sticker. Whoa! This is sick memorabilia. There's a lot here. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Let's see what else is in this room. Other than stickers. Oh. Oh, I was about to say, I thought this was one of the shops. But this is actually a truck parked right underneath the stands. This is so cool. I love going through this old stuff. I'm actually so glad they left all this stuff so I could actually see what this place looked like, how it operated. Get a real feel of the place. Yeah, look at this. You got Gatorade stickers in here. These must date back because this is a this is an old logo. I haven't seen this since like the early 2000s. And we can continue going up. This floor is just filled with like flags and other stuff that would be hanging. Oh wow. Oh, it's broken, but it's a finish line flag. Is up here? Checking out some flags apparently. Oh, yeah, that's not. That's like a replica. Yeah. Probably sell at the store. But yeah, there's like a bunch of flags they would hang up. I guess on the track. Yeah. There's so much stuff up here. Mm -hmm. really you found like an old Gatorade ad from like the 90s. Flip that around. Wow. 
Look at that. That's cool. That's a sick find. This place is blowing me away as far as expectations go. I did not expect to see so much stuff there. It's awesome exploring these places because you can only get so much knowledge of a place off the internet, especially a place from the past that's now abandoned if it wasn't like really popping during the internet. So going into buildings like that and just scurrying through files, looking at pictures, I learned way more than I could have learned just looking at a Wikipedia page. And now we're gonna go up on the stands Oh wow, so this is where the announcer would be calling the race. Best seats in the house right here. You would have the TV broadcaster sitting in their own little seat here, I'm assuming. So awesome. So I expected this to be one of the cooler buildings here. That's why I was saving it for last, but it was okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna take a nice seat here and just take it all in. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. This place was cool. I'm starting to fall in love with abandoned NASCAR tracks being this is my second one. And I love it. Giant sports venues like this just completely abandoned, being taken over by nature. There's nothing better than that. Just peaceful, ambient. Not really much more to say. A place like this kind of leaves you speechless, but I hope you guys, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a thumbs up. It lets me know right away and it also helps my channel out a ton so i'd be very thankful for you guys if you did that and um i'll see you in the next video peace out Thank mm -hmm. you.